What's up everybody, Ricky Carruth here. Welcome back to my channel. So this is a public service announcement to all of you real estate agents out there who are worried about Amazon, Zillow, Redfin, Open Door, all the companies out there trying to disrupt the real estate industry and replace real estate agents. I wanna let you know right now that this is the same thing as if you were a little kid scared of the boogeyman. Yep, I said it. This is the same thing as you are in your infant stages of your real estate career and you're scared of the unknown. You're scared of the boogeyman, someone who doesn't exist. I see absolutely nothing out there that is threatening the careers of real estate agents whatsoever. Look at the data. Look at what's going on out there in the world with these companies. These companies are reporting losses quarter after quarter after year after year, scrambling around to try to figure out the secret way to try to disrupt and take over the real estate industry and leave real estate agents behind, but it will never ever happen because people want to deal with people on the largest decisions of their life. They can try all they want to, they can lose all the money they want to, which they continue to do year after year after year after year, but they will never figure it out because you know why? It doesn't exist. It's a boogeyman. Now, let's talk about what we need to do and what we need to think about moving forward from this place in history. Right now, I consider us to be in a transition period in the world of real estate, in the world of sales in general. And I find this an incredibly interesting place to be. We're in the world of the internet disrupting so many industries, so many tech companies coming out, trying to solve problems, save people time, and really just kind of take over the sales industry in the world. And they've been able to do it in several industries, but real estate is not one of them. However, we do need to watch what's going on. We do need to pay attention and we need to adapt and adjust to this new world. Look, if you're really worried about something replacing real estate agents and you know this whole real estate career thing not working out for you, maybe it will, maybe it won't. The failure rate is so high in real estate. Why is it so high? Because of things things like this discouraging agents from moving forward in their career. You have to believe 100 million percent that you're going to succeed, that nothing's going to hold you back, that you're going to accomplish the goals that you've set for yourself. If there's any doubt whatsoever, you're not going to make it. And it's things like this, disruptors in the industry, scaring people into not believing just 1%. If, if you believe 99% and there's just 1% of you that doubts anything about what you're trying to do, chances are very low that you're going to accomplish those goals. And that's why I'm making this video because I want you to believe 100%, 100 million percent that you can do this, that nothing, I repeat, nothing can hold you back. So I want you guys to stand up with me right now and start building your personal brand. Personal branding is what's going to win moving forward. Okay, if you've built your personal brand and you've developed your database, your audience of followers slash clients, what you have to do is you have to create a situation where your clients want to use you because of the brand that you've built with them. How do we build personal brand in today's world is very simple. It's the same way that I'm building my brand with you right now. I'm providing you value and not asking anything in return. I'm providing exceptional service by answering every single DM. I answer my phone every time that it rings that I'm not busy and if I don't catch the call, I return that call the same day. It's called building a brand, marketing yourself in a way that everyone knows that you care about them, not just the deal. You're not a sleazy salesman type, you're there to provide value and exceptional service. When you provide value, provide service, and you market yourself well around those two things, then you're building a brand that's gonna last through anything because people will want to work with you because let's face it, it's rare to find someone who not only cares about their clients to the level that most want, but it's also rare to find the combination of someone who does this and markets their self around that. 
What I find most of the time are agents who really care about their clients, but there's a disconnect between who they are as a person and how they're communicating and marketing their self in the public. So I'm gonna make more videos around personal branding and tips and tricks that I use, but for now I want you to realize that this notion, this idea that you know, real estate agents are gonna be replaced by some technology company or Zillow or, or any of this stuff is literally the boogeyman trying to trick you into thinking that this is what is going to happen and it's not. I'm here to tell you that it's not. They're scrambling around, losing money every single day. Everything that they're doing is not working. Sure, they're gonna, they're gonna do something that's gonna end up being profitable. Maybe Zillow got into the mortgage business. Maybe that'll be profitable. Is that gonna knock real estate agents off? No, it's not. So there's different avenues that you're trying to figure out how to make money. And if you watched my video a couple weeks ago, I talked about how Zillow is changing up uh, their model of, of giving leads to agents, right? They're gonna have agents pay referral fees on the back end instead of making you pay up front for the leads. They're scrambling around and they can't figure out how to make this thing work uh, to, to make the profit that they need. And you know, maybe there's something going on in the books that we don't know about and there is some kind of profit somewhere and that's how they've been able to lose money for 10 years here. But who knows about that? I'm not here to talk about all that. I'm just here to say that commissions have not come down since I've been in real estate 17 years ago. They have not come down at all and they will continue to be strong if commissions do come down just a little bit due to something, it's still extremely lucrative and we're here to provide people value and help them through the biggest decisions in their life. I would love to hear your opinion on this, so shoot me a comment below, hit that like button, let me know what in the world I can do for you, and let's go!